He was waiting at the bus stop in Hollywood at 2 a.m. Drove right by at first, then I circled around again. He was wearing a Sunday suit, a folded kerchief in his pocket. Sitting perfect and polite, like a nightlight in a socket. I said, excuse me, sir, but these buses, well, they don't run this time of night. And if you tell me where you're headed, I could help you with a ride. And he said, oh, I didn't know that. And thank you, yes, you can. So I helped him up in my pickup truck, a frail and kind old man, partners in time. Partners in time. Now can you give me some direction? Well, that's the first thing I should know. Said I'm on my way to work, but I'm not sure which way to go. So I parked and we just sat there, both of us confused. When finally he pushed up his suit sleeve, his arm was aged and bruised. He had an old silver bracelet with an address and a number. Lived a couple of miles away and I said, now we're getting somewhere, partners in time. Partners in time. So I headed east on Melrose and pulled right up to his home. Woman in a nightgown, she came running out alone. And as she opened up his door, he put his hand on mine. And he just held it for a minute before they went inside. And I went back to my apartment to stay up till the dawn. Woke up in the afternoon with my working clothes still on. Partners in time. Partners in time.